Welcome to Better View. In this video, we are going to do a quick revision of protein evaluation in non-rumens. So whenever we are giving some protein feed uh, to the animals, we should know the quality of the protein of that feed ingredient. For this purpose, we use certain evaluation methods. Okay, so they are chemical and biological. So in chemical method, you just look at the chemical structure of the protein. You look at the content, uh, the amino acid content of the protein and evaluate it. In biological evaluation, you use live animals for the purpose of evaluation of the feed ingredient. Okay, so first let us look at the biological evaluation methods. First of which is weight gain method. Why weight gain method? Because we look at the gain in weight of the animal to evaluate the quality of the protein. Okay, so first we have protein efficiency ratio. You will give the feed to the animal and you will calculate the gain in weight. Okay, and weight gain divided by protein intake will give protein efficiency ratio. Then we have net protein retention. It is a little bit different. What do we do? You give a test protein diet to the animal and you give non-protein diet to uh, the same animal or another animal of the same species, same sex, same age and in the same environment. Okay, so difference between the weight the weight gain of the test protein diet and weight loss of the non-protein diet. You will calculate it divided by protein intake and this will give NPR, net protein retention. Then we have gross protein value. This is used in chicks. So chicks are fed with 8% protein diet up to 2 weeks. After that, you will divide it, uh, divide the chicks into 3 groups. First, we will have the standard diet, 8% protein. Second one, we will have standard diet along with 30 grams crude protein per kg of the test protein and the third group will have the standard diet along with the same amount of protein but casein okay so basically we are evaluating or we are comparing the test protein with casein okay so gross protein value equals increased weight gain per gram of test protein divided by increased weight gain per gram of casein so these are all the weight gain methods then we have nitrogen balance method why nitrogen balance method? Because we look at the nitrogen level in the feed that is given and the nitrogen level in all the excreta of the animal. Okay, and basically we see how much nitrogen is retained in the animal body. Okay, so the first method in this is biological value. So it is the proportion of the nitrogen which is absorbed. Okay, and it is retained. So we have apparent biological value and true biological value. What is the difference? In apparent biological value, we do not account for the mucosa and all the cells in the intestine which is getting shed right with the feces and the endogenous urinary nitrogen okay so first let us see apparent biological value we will take nitrogen intake minus the difference between fecal nitrogen and urinary nitrogen divided by nitrogen intake minus fecal nitrogen and whole into 100 okay for true biological value we minus the metabolic fecal nitrogen. So all the mucus cells and all other substances which are released in the intestine which contain nitrogen. Okay, we have to minus it from the fecal nitrogen. Why? Because that nitrogen is not from the feed itself. Right? We are not seeing the actual protein content of the feed. We are just looking at the nitrogen. So if you are looking at the nitrogen and you are estimating the quality of the protein, you have to first subtract whatever nitrogen is present in the feed that is not of the feed origin okay so metabolic fecal nitrogen has to be subtract subtracted from the fecal nitrogen similarly endogenous urinary nitrogen is subtracted from urinary nitrogen and this will give true biological value you have to remember the biological value of some important feed stuff like milk for humans uh, milk and egg is used so 94 egg is 96 which is the highest then fish 74 to 89 soya mean for animals 63 to 76, maize 49 to 81, and microbial protein 68 to 78. Then second in nitrogen balance method, we have net protein utilization. It can be calculated by multiplying the digestibility coefficient with biological value. Then we have protein replacement value. So here we will use one standard protein that is egg. Second is test protein. So as we know that egg has the highest biological value so we are using it as the standard okay and two nitrogen balance determination are carried out one is with standard protein second with test protein okay and then we will use the formula so nitrogen in the standard protein and nitrogen 
balance in the test protein the difference is taken divided by the nitrogen intake into 100 and this whole value is subtracted from the 100 and this is called protein replacement value then we have body retention body nitrogen retention it is used on rat why because for this purpose we have to kill the animal okay so for the comparison of body nitrogen content which is results from the test protein with the the body nitrogen content resulting from nitrogen free diet okay so we will uh, have two groups one is given test protein diet second is given nitrogen free diet and the body nitrogen content of the two is compared and difference is taken divided by nitrogen intake and it will give body retention body nitrogen retention okay so this is all for the biological evaluation method then we have chemical evaluation method first we have chemical score here we will take the amino acid which is most deficient, uh, deficient compared with the standard for example the most deficient amino acid essential amino acid in wheat is lysine and the amount is 27 gram per kg dry matter wheat in egg the value is 72 so we will divide 27 by 72 and it will give 0.37 it basically means chemical score of wheat is 37 percent one disadvantage of this method is that we are only looking at one amino acid that too which is the most deficient okay so we go for a second method that is essential amino acid index here we take the geometric mean of the ratio comparing 10 essential amino acid in the test protein with that of the standard standard is egg okay so basically this is the formula of hormone uh, geometric mean and by uh, with that you can count the you can calculate the essential amino acid index so this is it for the protein evaluation in non-ruminant animals i hope you like this video if so, hit the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.